By the way, this is Infertility Awareness Week, and a Brooklyn woman is helping support others all over the world. The CDC says one in eight couples goes through infertility, and doctors expect the numbers even higher. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has this. I had recurrent pregnancy loss, four miscarriages. Williamsburg resident Ali Prado felt alone going through secondary infertility after giving birth to her first child at 35. Blair Nelson of Texas had a similar experience with her husband at 31. We found out that he had some chromosomal issues that he was born with. We were basically told eight months into our marriage that IVF was the only way we were going to have children. Celebrities like Chrissy Teigen and Michelle Obama have helped open up the conversation. The National Infertility Association says approximately 30% of infertility is due to a female factor and 30% due to a male. Prado and Nelson found the strength to share their stories on podcasts, crossed paths, and founded the support community FertilityRally.com. As part of Infertility Awareness Week, they've hosted 35 speakers. Everything from embryo donation to walking away childless not by choice to plus size infertility. Doctors say there are no signs or symptoms of infertility, but recommend getting regular checkups to detect a problem. It's okay to get a reproductive checkup. For a woman to go into her gynecologist or a reproductive specialist and say, are my eggs okay? Is my uterus okay? For a man to go and say, is my sperm okay? Dr. Joshua Klein heads egg freezing company Extend Fertility. We do a blood test, we do an ultrasound in advance. Through IVF with Dr. Klein, Prado gave birth to her second child five years ago. You know, I look at my son every day, honestly, and I say to him, I still can't believe you're here. And for Nelson, after four rounds of IVF, she's expecting a baby girl in a few weeks, both showing others there is hope. In Williamsburg, Brooklyn, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And in recent years, New York State has required health insurers to cover services to diagnose and treat infertility. And last year, the state began allowing paid surrogacy. And for more resources, you can head over to CBSNewYork.com.